I'm Jody Bax with Real Estate Experts working in Chapel Hill and Durham, North Carolina. Today, I'm going to discuss why you should test a house for radon in North Carolina and why this is important. Radon is a naturally occurring, colorless, odorless, radioactive gas that is present in the majority of soils and rocks. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, radon is the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers. Overall, radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer and is responsible for about 21,000 deaths a year. The EPA health limit for radon, the technical term, is four picocuries per liter. And in North Carolina, if a radon level in a home is at or above this level, it is considered a material fact and it should be remediated. In fact, EPA really recommends remediation or considering remediation if the level is above two picocuries per liter. The map below shows the different radon zones across North Carolina, and most of the triangle is in zone two, and some of it is in zone three. Zone two is uh, the area predicts to have an average potential indoor radon level between two and four picocuries per liter, and zone three, the potential is actually less than two picocuries per liter. Radon testing is actually very easy to do and it is not expensive. A radon test costs approximately $125. And the cost of the remediation is not expensive either. If high radon levels are found, the, what you need to do is you have to install a vent pipe system with a fan. Based on the size of the house, these systems can run somewhere between about $1,800 to $3,500. Given the actual health risks associated with radon in homes, the cost and ease of testing and the cost of the remediation, it really is a very good thing to test a house for radon before you purchase it. I highly recommend making this part of your due diligence process. If you have any questions about this or any other real estate matter, please don't hesitate to contact me at jody at realestateexperts.net or 919-759-6359.